Hey, Bella Buddies, thanks for watching. Okay, this is a what sold for $35 or less. This is my bread and butter bolo video. These are items that I sold faster on eBay. And, you know, they're items that you can pick up quicker, not quicker, easier at like garage sales and thrift stores, easier to find items. That's the word I want. Okay, so we are going to go through these items. I guess not all of them are easier to find, but some of them are. And they typically sell faster, but the margins are lower, but still good stuff. So this is actually one of my most popular series. I have a whole bread and butter series, so definitely check that out. I also have big money bolo videos, category videos, and so much more. So please check out another video if you're new here and be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. As always, thanks for watching. Thanks for being here. And I'm Courtney. I never say that. I'm Bolo Buddies. All right, here we go. All right, let's get our screen share up and let's talk about some bolos. The first item, and I love these. Love, love, love. Super fun item. Okay, they came from a garage sale and they are PHI. They're retro neon plastic sunglasses from 1989. Look how cool they look on this guy. You know who this guy looks like? He kind of looks like Joey from Midwest Picker. If you guys haven't checked out Midwest Picker's channel, definitely go check it out. He has a friend and it kind of, this kind of looks like Joey, but this guy or girl, I don't know what it is. I think they practiced with makeup on it and it's kind of a hot mess, but hey, it works. But anyway, it's a mannequin head and I picked it up at a garage sale. So these glasses sold for a best offer of $30 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold is this vintage Halloween Upco ceramic orange jack-o'-lantern. And it's got the smiley face. And honestly, you guys, this is not something I would have typically picked up. I almost didn't even list it. The only reason I listed it, and I'm going to show you, is because it had these little circles on the back and it was signed. That's the only reason. I got this out of a mystery box and honestly, I didn't think these things really had a market, but I learned that they do and now I can share that info with you. I sold this for $28 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold, okay, guys, <laughs> vintage sheets can be great, but for some reason, this set would not sell. I had it for years and years and years. And maybe I had it priced too high. I don't know. I'm the type that I list it and forget it and just wait on the right buyer. And it's kind of confusing because it looks like it has this deer print, but it doesn't. It, that's just the packaging. So it's kind of weird. But anyway, I ended up selling this for $20 and the buyer paid shipping. I don't remember where I got it or what I paid for it because I've had it for like four years. So <laughs> moving on. I do recommend vintage sheets though, just price them right. The next item I sold is this Disney Frozen Oaken minifigure cake topper. And I looked him up and comps were decent. I mean, I sold him for $11.90 and the buyer paid shipping. So, you know, I made eight or nine bucks. To me, that's, that's great for the amount of time it took me to list. Is it huge money? No. And some of you won't waste your time on this, but I love selling toys. I took Google Lens, I figured out who he was, and I was like, comps aren't too bad. And he sold fast. That's the ticket. And I pick these things up at garage sales. I go up to the garage sale, I look through the toys, I bundle, and I probably paid like a quarter for it, if that. The next item I sold are these antique baby toddler shoes. And I will tell you, these are typically a bolo. These were missing buttons. I paid a dollar for these and I sold them for, um, that's odd. I have that I sold them for $32.50. Huh, wonder why that's not matching. Maybe I wrote it down wrong. Or did I have it? No, it doesn't look like I had it on auction. I have no idea. That's really weird because I went from my sold page. So I don't know why it doesn't match right now, but I think I sold them for $32.50. Either way, I guess if I didn't, it was $29.75. Uh, the buyer did pay shipping. And again, the buttons were missing. I have sold these for bigger money. Uh, I can't remember. I think I sold a pair for around $70 that were like in really good condition. It's in one of my videos, but um, 
definitely be on the lookout for the high top boots that have the buttons up the side that are leather. Baby shoes, antique, okay? The next item I sold is this vintage butterfly taxidermy. I always pick up taxidermy. I don't know why because I hate shipping it, but this was at a thrift store. I did overpay for it. I paid $4 for it. I don't normally pay that high for some reason. I don't know. I, I just, maybe I thought it was pretty. I don't know. But I took a best offer of $15 and the buyer paid shipping. So I did okay, but not great. And it's just a single butterfly. Otherwise, it would have been worth more. The next item I sold, and this is one that a lot of people probably would have passed by. It's a vintage soft rubber uh, reindeer. These are made in Japan. This one's got the little chain around its neck and the swivel head. Um, I sold this for $20 and the buyer paid shipping. I believe I picked this up at a garage sale probably for 50 cents or a dollar. The next item I sold, okay, so I had a bunch of toys and this was sitting in them. I, You guys, I have so many toys in my basement that I need to list and I just recently did a whole bunch of them. This was one of them. And I was like, oh, it's kind of cute. I've never seen that before. And I was like, I'm gonna start the auction at $19.99 and just see what happens. And it sold for $19.99 and the buyer paid shipping. I was hoping for a bidding war, but you know what? I probably had 10 cents in it, so I will take $19.99. It is a vintage shaggy doggy mommy, fluffy dog, based on fluffy dog, yarn hair. I don't know. That's just what I found when I Google lensed it. The next item I sold is this Disney, the Muppets. Uh, actually, you know what? I think on that one, Toy Attic helped me. So definitely go check out Toy Addict's channel. I messaged her and I'm like, do you know who this is? And I think she sent me a picture and then I, I think I tried Google Lens and I couldn't find it. So check out Toy Addict, she's got a great channel. And let's talk about Kermit. Disney, the Muppets Kermit Frog, he's a cake topper. Again, you guys, he's just a little guy, but there's that mom that's out there that needs Kermit for her son or daughter's birthday party. And I had it and it sold fast for $10.20 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item came from my bulk buy. I bought it on eBay to sell on eBay jewelry haul. Definitely check that out. I have videos on it. This is a vintage Shine Jerry's Scotty Dog brooch or pin. I sold it for $12.75 and the buyer paid shipping. Nothing fancy, nothing big. You know, just somebody who maybe has a Scotty Dog that wanted it. I don't know. It's even got some messed up eyes. I don't know. It sold. I'll take it. The next item I sold is this Fiesta Halloween pumpkin plush. Another item I would not probably have bought to resell, but was in a mystery box. So I listed it and it sold for $20 and the buyer paid shipping and it sold pretty quick. So the next item I sold is this pandemic board game. And I just had to buy it given with the life that we are all living right now. I was like, this might sell pretty quickly. Um, I picked it up for a dollar at a garage sale and it sold pretty fast for $15 in the buyer paid shipping. And you can see here, I, I think it was, it was used, but I think it was complete if I remember. Yeah. Used and complete. I can just look at my title. That makes sense. The next item I sold is this, uh, I don't know how to say it. Labyrinth, uh, labyrinth puzzle. I don't know. Not sure I'm saying that right. But it sold for $20, picked it up at a garage sale for $2, and the buyer paid shipping. It's like a marble game, puzzle, marble, maze game. The next item is this vintage Jurassic Park. It's a Velociraptor, Raptor, Dino figure. And I sold this for $17.59 in the buyer paid shipping. And I picked this up at a garage sale with a bunch of dinosaurs. The next item I sold is this. Ooh. Oh, yay. My husband got payment for something that we didn't think they were going to pay. So that's awesome. Okay. So this Hallmark keepsake ornament, it is a Lucy's Peanuts Christmas booth. And I got this out of a mystery box and it sold for $15.99 and the buyer paid shipping. And this actually went internationally. So um, I use global shipping. So yeah. The next item is this vintage 1984 Olympics trucker snapback hat. I ended up taking an offer of $25 on this and the buyer paid shipping. I think I picked this up at a garage sale for 50 cents, if I remember correctly. 
The next item I sold is this Rare Bratz pencil case. And the reason I put that it's rare is I couldn't find another one like it. And I sold this for $18 and the buyer paid shipping. I got this at a garage sale for $1. It was new with tags, new old stock. The next item I sold are these Peppa the Pig um, replacement figures. They're like building blocks. And I got these at a garage sale for 50 cents and I sold them for $12 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item, guys, I sold a TY Beanie Baby. Yeah, take that. <laughs> Everybody's like, you can't sell Beanie Babies. And I will tell you, I'll be the first to say, do not buy Beanie Babies. But this was in a mystery box and I was like, oh, when you shake it, it jingles. And I'm like, I've never seen one of these. And I had some other ones and I bundled the other ones and they just sold for $28. And this one sold for $14 and the buyer paid shipping. This one for some reason was more rare. It's the gingerbread man, but I got $14 and the buyer paid shipping. It's just little, but it jingles. They're called um, jingle beanies. So if you see the jingle beanies, you might want to buy it. And also like the beanie booze with the glitter eyes. I usually pick those up. And you guys, these are bread and butter. You're not going to make thousands of dollars on Beanie Babies. Um, if I have a video called Three Mistakes Resellers Make. Go check it out. There's some other things that might be good to know, especially if you're new. And then the other um, Beanie TY that I sometimes pick up are the Beanie Balls that are like in characters of like, um, like I just listed some Monsters, Inc. So, you know, parents will sometimes look for those because they're uh, themed. All right, the next item. I sold is this vintage Cabbage Patch Kids Easter bean bag. And I sold this for $13.19. I picked this up at a thrift store for $1 and the buyer paid shipping. And I actually thought that was gonna sell for more. The next item was just in a bunch of toys and I could not believe what they were selling for when I looked it up. You guys, it's like teeny, it's like little. And I guess it's from the Godzilla show. I don't know, Mothra Rebirth. It's a moth. And I sold this for $17.50 and the buyer paid shipping. Pretty amazing. The next item I sold is this Givenchy, I think is how you say it. It's a perfume. It's just a little itty bitty mini splash. Um, all perfume has to ship ground. So, you know, that puts the shipping at like seven or eight bucks for the buyer. So I really can't price this too high, but it is a harder to find item. So I sold this for $19.55 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold is this. Okay, so this is kind of like those angels I like to sell. This is an angel chime set, okay? They always sell. They're great bread and butter, and I find them pretty often. They're brass. It doesn't matter if they have the candles or not. doesn't matter if they're used or if they're new. They sell. At least they sell for me. I sold this for $25.49 and I picked it up at a garage sale for $1. It's one of those items I always buy. Okay, so this came from a garage sale and I picked it up for 50 cents. Actually, I think this one was a dollar. This one was a dollar, I believe. And it's a um, ERTL green farm wagon and it says Oliver on the side. And I auctioned it and it sold for $22.99 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold, I don't know, it was so strange that I Google image or yeah, Google lensed it and I'm like, huh. And I looked him up, I'm like, he's got pretty good comps. I'm gonna list him separately. He sold super fast for $11 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold are these loving family. Uh, they're like horse riding girls, equestrian girls, jockeys, whatever you wanna call them. I sold these for $17 and the buyer paid shipping. It was just in a bunch of toys I had. The next item I sold are these 18 inch doll clothes. So you've got OG, Batat, Funrise. None of these were American Girl or, you know, American Girl goes for more, but it was just a mixed lot, but they fit an 18 inch doll. And I sold these for $30 and 59 cents in the buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold is this vintage pewter dolphin wine bottle cork stopper. It's new old stock. I picked it up at a garage sale for 50 cents and actually sold it for $25 and the buyer paid shipping. I was a little bit shocked myself about how quick it sold and how much it sold for. I always make fun of myself when I'm like, I can't believe it sold for that. And I'm like, you priced it. Like, 
Anyway, all right, the next item I sold is this Dimensions Santa Cross Stitch Stocking Kit. It is new old stock. I picked this up at a garage sale eh, for 50 cents and it sold for $17 and the buyer paid shipping. I took a best offer on that one. The next item I sold is this Old World Christmas Angel. And this one came from a mystery box and I sold it for $18.69 and the buyer paid shipping. And it was just in the box. I cannot believe it made it because it is glass. The next item I sold is this Heartstone mug. It's Halloween. Um, it did stay Starbucks barista, barista, is that how you say it? I always say that wrong. I'm not a coffee drinker. Um, okay, I shouldn't say that. I do like those coffees that um, mocha, the mocha coffees that are iced, but that's not really like I get up in the morning and have a coffee but I do like those sweet treats. Okay, so I uh, this one came in a mystery box also, and I sold it for $25 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item I sold is this Bucilla stamped um, winterberry tablecloth. It was used, and the reason I put that it was used is because it was not sealed. Um, it wasn't actually used. I sold it for $25.49 and the buyer paid shipping. And that one came from a garage sale for two bucks. The next item I sold is this LPS little pet shop. Um, it's like a Blythe set. It's the airplane and the dolls and the accessories. And I actually paid $1 for this. I probably could have held out for more, but I took a best offer of $30 and the buyer paid shipping. I figured I had a buck in it. I might as well take that. The next item I almost didn't list because I was like, eh, there's a lot of them listed. It probably won't sell. It sold pretty quick actually for $10 and the buyer paid sh uh, shipping. It's a little Tykes green tractor. The next item is this vintage um, Flash Gordon from 1979 action figure. It's marked Hong Kong. I sold this for a best offer of $30 and the buyer paid shipping. This has been sitting in my basement for about two years in a tote just waiting to be listed. I, went, I got on a toy kick and I'm like, I'm gonna list this whole tote and I did it. The next item I sold is this Disney Store Minnie Mouse Pumpkin Trick or Treat Felt Bag. I sold it for $16.99 and the buyer paid shipping. And this also came out of a mystery box. All right, you guys, those are my 36 bread and butter bolos. And as I said, these items sold faster on eBay. I had them cross posted on Mercari and Poshmark. And there'll be a video popping up on List Perfect. List Perfectly. That's how I cross post. Um, and if you guys aren't cross posting here in front of my face, I highly recommend it. Um, yeah, check out the video. Uh, thanks for watching. I'll be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share. There should be a subscribe button right here. If you're not subscribed, do that. Hit that thumbs up. Have a great day. Thanks for watching.